So for part three of this uh, lecture series on navigation, we're going to focus more specifically on uh, sea navigation, so going across uh, the waters, and how Indigenous peoples were able to harness the sky in order to, to get across the sea. Notably, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples have a really significant history of being seafarers. Uh, now, there is a huge amount of evidence to support this and also suggesting that there was a lot of successful trade uh, that occurred, particularly between the Makassans people who are from Indonesia uh, and the Aboriginal people in the top end of Australia. Uh, off note, there is uh, a lot of evidence suggesting that the Macassans peoples, they would often uh, go to places such as the Kimberleys uh, and in Arnhem Land in order to trade sea cucumber. There is also evidence suggesting that some of the people from the Kimberleys and Arnhem Land regions actually went on voyages with the Macassan people, uh, you know, going all around and, and trading um, sea cucumber and, and various different things. And so it really, you know, it shows us that, okay, not only did the Aboriginal people have a really good grasp on traversing across the sea, but this is a really cool example of bilateral um, sea management, you know, pre-colonization. So that's all really cool, but how was it actually done? How did people actually, you know, cross these really large distances without the aid of a GPS or, you know, um, even a compass? Yeah, that's a really good question. And I guess one of the best examples of this um, is a, an impressively large and significant constellation known as Tagai, uh, the creator being for the Torres Strait Islander peoples. Um, now, Tagai can be seen in the southern skies, um, standing in a canoe in the Milky Way. Uh, and in his left hand is a southern cross holding a spear. And in his right hand is a group of stars, the constellation of Corvus, holding a, f a fruit called the Eugenia fruit. Um, and his canoe is formed by the stars of Scorpius below him. Um, now, Tagai constellation aids in the navigation um, in a variety of ways. Um, and mainly through the use of directional stars that you can actually use to navigate towards in order to know where you're traveling when you're on the ocean. For example, armed with this knowledge of how Tagai is positioned uh, within the sky, the Urban La people of Arab Island, they can travel to Mi Island using this constellation. Specifically, looking at the left hand of Tagai, they know that this point in the southeast direction. So when they are traveling to May Island, they just have to follow the left hand of Tagai um, as they travel across the sea. Now, this is over 50 kilometers away and traveling for such vast distances across the sea, there's really not many features to look out for. There's definitely no land features to look out for. And that's why these these tools, these constellations, and the sky in general is a really useful resource for navigating across these really large distances. Alternatively, the Torres Strait Islander peoples used another constellation, which they call Bidem, um, which is also known as the Big Dipper or the Big Saucepan. Um, but they see this as a shark in which they can then use to travel back north and do that reverse trip from Mayor Island back to Arab Island. Um, the stars can also tell the islanders um, when to plant their gardens, when they're able to hunt certain sea creatures, and also when the monsoon season arrives, as we've already discussed in a previous lecture. 